This is the Beginning End Podcast. I'm Paul Dalton. Hello and welcome to episode five. The theme of today's episode is the wisdom of having a don't know mind, which is really about the value of staying open and curious about life as it happens. We've evolved to become beings that crave certainty and to seek comfort in predicting exactly how the future will unfold. But of course, that's not something we're able to control, at least not for the most part. And when things do turn out differently to how we'd hoped, which I'm sure you'll agree happens a lot, we end up feeling the effects of disappointment, frustration, annoyance or sadness, you name it. But as we practice our mindfulness, what comes into focus is that that kind of suffering is coming less from what transpires out in the world and more from the fact that we've become attached and identified to our own expectations. Now, if this is your first time listening to the podcast, welcome, welcome. Here we explore the breadth and depth of mindfulness and living mindfully to help you deepen your understanding of the what's and the why's and the how's of mindfulness practice and to help you discover your own insights that may just lead you to experiencing life with a bit more balance and ease. If that sounds like a bit of you, then subscribe to the podcast or follow, depending on your platform of choice, because that's the best way to ensure that you catch all future episodes, which are sent out into the wild on a weekly basis. But for now, let's crack on with it. The wisdom of having a don't know mind. One of the more pervasive factors that stops us from being truly present with our moment-to-moment -moment experience is the tendency to place expectation on how things ought to unfold. If you take some time to meditate, surely you ought to feel more peaceful by the time you finish. If you treat people fairly, they ought to return the favour. If you do your best to stay healthy, you ought not to get sick. If you plan for every eventuality, things ought to go smoothly. And yet, we all know what it feels like for reality to not live up to our expectations. People might take offence at our friendly, well-intended advice. A perfectly planned project might go disastrously wrong. We might lose out on opportunities to people far less qualified and experienced than we are. We might still feel anxious despite hours of meditation. The root of our disappointments and frustrations in life is not so much the events themselves, but rather that they fall foul of what we believe should have happened. When we're attached to outcomes, we become prey to our own emotional reactivity. Rather than being open and present, we close ourselves off to what is. We get lost in our stories of how this can't be right or why it's not fair and we enter a cul-de-sac of self-doubt. The most reliable way to create suffering for ourselves is to make our happiness dependent on things turning out the way that we want and then hoping that it lasts. Mindfulness offers us a way of being released from this cycle of expectation and disappointment. With practice, we can begin to accept and appreciate the simple truth that we don't know what's going to happen next. And rather than this being a source of uneasiness, it invites us to bring interest and curiosity to the unfolding flow of our experience. Over time, we can recognize that there's wisdom in having a don't know mind. When we act in the world, with a true acceptance that we don't know what's actually going to happen, that events could transpire in any number of ways, we're less likely to attach ourselves to one particular outcome. We continue to set our best intentions and to do what we feel is right, but all the while we can stay present to and curious about the reality 
that unfolds. And as it's unfolding, it's like we can say, ah, so this is how it is. Having a don't know mind is not the same as being passive. It's simply a quality of mind that allows us to stay mindful and to make wise and flexible choices as we move through life in harmony with the way things are. Think about the rest of the day ahead of you, the tasks you'll complete, the conversations you'll have, the things you're looking forward to. Can you recognize any expectations you have about how it all ought to go? And can you let go of any attachments you have to the day panning out that way? It may well pan out that way, but the truth is we just don't know. Practice developing comfort with not knowing. Starting with what's here right now, simply move through the day with awareness and interest about how it actually does unfold. Be flexible, stay present, and enjoy the big reveal. I hope this has given you some inspiration and clarity about the value of holding your expectations of the future quite lightly. I'd love to know what insights you have as you practice. If you're happy to share, then please do reach out and let me know. Or if you have any comments or questions, my email door is always open. It's paul at pauldalton.coach. If you'd like to start or re-energize your own mindfulness practice, then I'd love to help you with that. I teach mindfulness and meditation on both a one-to-one and group basis. So if you'd like to have a no-pressure, no-obligation chat about the options that would work best for you, then reach out and I'll be very happy to give you all the information you need. Or visit me at the website, it's pauldalton.coach. That's pauldalton.coach. To receive more mindfulness content from me on top of what I share here on the podcast, then I recommend signing up for my email newsletter that goes out weekly and I'll only send you what I believe is really useful content related to mindfulness and living mindfully. I'll pop all the links in the show notes. Thank you so much for being here today. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you've gotten value from the podcast, it does make such a huge difference to leave a kind rating and a review. It really helps the podcast to grow and reach others who might truly benefit from this type of content. But for now, may you be happy. May you be safe. May you be well. Please take great care of yourself. Bye for now.